We have just released the 2007 uh, annual report on the global status of biotech crops. And what we see in the 12th year of commercialization, which is 2007, is that we've witnessed a 12% increase in acreage on a global basis. And this has benefited 12 million farmers around the globe. That's a very significant increase. And particularly important that of that 12 million farmers, 11 million farmers were resource poor farmers in developing countries. They represent some of the poorest people in the world. The number of countries benefiting from biotech in 2007 totaled 23. Of the 23 countries, 12 were developing countries and 11 were industrial countries. So the growth that we are seeing is in the developing countries of the world where this technology can have its biggest impact. And this means that you are making a very important contribution to the alleviation of poverty. We've already seen significant economic benefits from this technology. One of the new benefits that's featured in the 207 report is the social benefits uh, that in fact you find in BT cotton uh, growing households in India. A recent survey of 9,300 households showed that women and children were starting to benefit in areas where in fact BT cotton is grown. More specifically, these benefits uh, were that women um, had an increase in prenatal visits, the number of children enrolled at school increased and the number of children that in fact were vaccinated increased. What we see here are a very important set of new social benefits that can contribute in a very significant way for a better quality of life for these people. In the early 1990s, prior to the commercialization of biotech crops, many people said that this technology will never benefit people in developing countries because it was being developed by the private sector, because it was patented, because it was expensive. But reality is that in fact they have been the major beneficiaries. Biotech crops have also made a significant contribution to a better environment. Over the period 1996 to 2006 we have saved 289,000 metric tons of pesticides on a global basis. In 2006, we saved 14.8 billion kilograms of CO2, and this was an important contribution in addressing climate change. In fact, that's equivalent to taking six and a half million cars off our roads. Biotech crops have already made a significant contribution to food security, to feed security, to fiber security, and biofuel security. And when we look at the demands in the future, when the global population will be over 9 billion by 2050, we believe that biotech crops can continue to make a very important contribution in a sustainable agriculture that will provide people with a better quality of life 